I especially like the um, M-rated video games because I do have three teenage boys, and statistically speaking, at least one of them is going to turn out to be a criminal. <laughs> and when they do, I am totally blaming Grand Theft Auto. Blame GTA. Oh yeah, not my shitty parenting. Okay, so um, so I have three boys. I, I always wanted a child, but I ended up with three, and I blame this on NyQuil. <laughs> I'll tell you why. NyQuil needs to have a specific warning on its label that says when this product is mixed with shots of Jägermeister, it becomes a fertility drug. So my oldest son, his name is Kyle, and he is a mathlete, a star mathlete. And what? <laughs> applause. <laughs> And what that means is he's come up with the perfect geometric formula for fitting his body perfectly inside a locker. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. He's only a freshman in college. Cameron got the lion's share of my genetics, which basically means he grew up a nerdy asthmatic. Um, and I don't really even think you need to add the word nerdy to asthmatic because how many like sexy, powerful asthmatics do you know? Maybe Darth Vader? <laughs> Most asthmatics I know could not be cool even if their inhalers looked like bongs, <laughs> which is not a bad idea. Um, Cameron is uh, he's a good student. And uh, I even have that bumper sticker on my car that says, I heart my honor student. And he has the bumper sticker on his bicycle that says, I heart my secret alcoholic mom. <laughs> it's also on my shit list because he uses up all the hot water in the morning. And I hate that. So I use up all the moisturizing lotion and tissues <laughs> because payback is a bitch. <laughs> Kids are like really sexually precocious nowadays. It's really hard to give them advice about sex now that fisting is second base. <laughs> it's gotten so that the birds and the bees conversation starts like this. You see, son, when two girls love each other very much and they have a cup. <laughs> I, 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 I was put on a diet recently. Uh, which is not a good thing because I have a terrible sweet tooth and having kids does not help this. I went to Trader Joe's and got their reduced guilt brownies, but they don't make me feel any better about putting Nana in the nursing home. <laughs> I'm at that awkward weight where I'm like not chunky enough for black guys, but not emaciated enough for white guys. Uh, and, uh, well, and my husband hates that joke. Um, <laughs> I had to stop going to McDonald's. Um, that was a weekly ritual of mine because I heard that it was a great way to cleanse your body of purities. And another thing I had to give up that I really uh, regret is Nutella. Do you guys know what Nutella is? Oh, yeah, that's the female, that's the female sound. It's like the call of Nutella. Oh. For you guys who don't know what Nutella is, it's kind of like peanut butter, only it's chocolate flavored. <laughs> so it's like, oh my god. Um, the picture on the front of the jar, the serving suggestion should just be a middle-aged lady with an empty jar and a spoon. And that would be me. Jim is just one giant exercise in, um, in, in humiliation and degradation. I don't know, how many of you guys are gym rats? Do you go to the gym a lot? Yeah? Oh, of course. Look at that buff physique. Are you familiar with this inner thigh machine? I don't, it, this is the worst thing ever invented. So you get into this machine and you put your feet in what I can only describe as gynecological stirrups. And then your trainer is saying, okay, now squeeze your knees together. Okay, I'm down with that part. Now. Separate them really, really slowly so that everybody in the gym can get a really good look at your cooter. 
And that's not the worst part. The worst part is the farting out noise heard every time my legs open. It's tofu. It's the tofu. 